Hi, this is Eric the Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to run the factory calibration cycle on your Whirlpool washer. These instructions also apply to other Whirlpool Corporation brands, including Maytag, Amana, and more. If you need to purchase a new part for your Whirlpool washer, you can check our website, PartsDoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. The factory calibration cycle calibrates the main control board to the washer for optimal load size estimation. The calibration cycle must be ran after replacing the main control board, basket, drive assembly, suspension, motor, capacitor, and shifter. To run the cycle, make sure the washer is in standby mode with all the LEDs off and the lid closed. Press key 1, key 2, key 1, key 2 within 8 seconds of each other, with key 1 being temp and key 2 being rinse on our model of washer. The washer then will confirm that it has entered service mode by all the LEDs blinking one time, and then the lid will lock. Then rotate the encoder knob one step. Then press all the keys 1 through 6. When successfully completing, the lid will unlock. Next, open and close the lid to initialize the factory cycle. When the cycle is running, do not disturb the washer or remove power, or you will need to restart the process. The cycle will run from 2 to 4 minutes, you will know when the cycle completes when the LEDs turn off and the lid unlocks. That's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.